What's going on everybody? We got another My League video and this one's not being done live. This is games that Junior has already played. This is three. This episode has, th has three games with Junior. So we're going to get a feel <laughs> of Junior in this one. So this is his Kansas City Skyscrapers taking on the Pacers. Now Junior's playing a second half, but look at EJ Moon. Eric and Jerk with the two-hand slam. And Kansas City was only down two at the time, but the Pacers are hot. Thaddeus Young hits the jump shot, made it a nine-point game there, but look at Amir. Amir Johnson, fear Amir. Down low, doing work, gets the hoop and the harm, keeping Junior and the skyscrapers in the game. And Junior hadn't even taken, he had, still hasn't taken control yet, but look at this nice ball movement. Look at Paul George moving without the ball, gets the two-hand slam and puts his team up by eight. Now, we're going to step right into the second half. You see Junior's taking over. He's picking up the controller. He's staring it down. He's down by nine. Paul George has 11 points in the first half, and he ain't finished. Jump shot from the baseline. You can put it in, and the Pacers are up by eight, 76 to 68. Pacers up by four. Junior with the rebound, a chance to bring, uh, uh, Junior misses the shot. He had a chance to cut it slow or cut it down a little bit, but Monta Ellis drives and hits the baby jump shot. But Junior is keeping it close. Only down one. Yusuf Nurkic with the steal. Jeff Green gives it up. Kyle Korver. Give me a green card. Hits the three, 92 to 90. But he's still not done. Transition again. Kyle Korver. Booga, 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 bang, bang. Hits another three, 95 to 90. The skyscrapers are up, up by two. And Bino Udra puts the final nail in the coffin, the Kansas City skyscrapers come from behind. You gotta give Junior his credit. They were losing at the half when he took over. He picked up the sticks, they were losing. The skyscrapers come back and win by eight. Yusuf Nurkic with a big game. Eric and Jerk! EJ Moon also played well. And um, you know, he's playing, EJ Moon is the floor guy. He's a, He plays a good floor game. Not necessarily having these big gaudy statistics. I'm noticing that from all the games I see with the skyscrapers. But he is doing the job as a point guard running the offense. And the skyscrapers are having a decent little start. But you see Yusuf Nurkic gets the, the player of the game with a double-double. He has quietly been one of the best players on any of our six expansion teams. He's not getting a lot of love. But he, you know, it's not all that flashy. But look at the humongous center down low just doing, just, just making people feel it. small just in every way shape or form just making them feel small look at this he just overpowers miles turner stealing the ball in front of big al getting about oh he's he was a beast he was a beast we got to look at the statistics to see what they were doing paul george had a great game to, well not a great game good game 24 points five rebounds four assists they had the pacers had five guys in double figures so but I don't think they rebounded quite as well. You look at the bigs, the bigs did not rebound. I mean, Monte Ellis had five rebounds, but I don't think any of the bigs had more than like two. That will not get the job done. You know, well, Al Jefferson had six, but not a lot of rebounding there. But Paul George definitely did play. I don't know how he got that rebound there, but he definitely had a good game. So soon we'll flip over here and take a look at um, junior statistics, the skyscrapers, and we look at Chris Humphreys actually led everybody with a double-double, 21 and 10, but Yusuf Nurgic had a double-double as well. He also had five steals. Corver with 14, got blazing hot down the stretch. EJ Moon with the 12 points, four rebounds, seven assists, filling up a stat sheet and getting it done for the skyscrapers. Now we do have another skyscraper game coming up in this episode, but before KC, and they're actually going to be at home in that game. They're going to be at home against the Memphis Grizzlies. But before we head to Kansas City or to the Show Me State in Missouri, we got to take a look at uh, the Seattle Prophets taking on. Now they got a. They they. I'm, I'm sorry. I said the Kansas City was taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. No, it's the Seattle Prophets taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Junior is taking over at in the second half in this one as well. 49 to 42. He's down. So can he do the same thing that he did in this game and be able to lead his team to victory? It's going to be a tougher task, I believe, against the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, the, you know, when you have to come from behind, playing against a, deep, a strong defensive team that rebounds well on the defensive end, that's 
very difficult. It makes it where your your uh, your your margin for error is very much limited. So as soon as 11 seconds left, you know, hey, it's just 11 seconds left. You might as well fire up a three or whatever to see if you can get something in the, at the end of this first half. No, it doesn't happen. So Junior takes over here in the second half um, and down only down by seven. So it's not as if this is not a winnable game. So here we are in the third quarter. It's not getting any better. They're down by 17. Gerald Green with the ball moving. Isolation gets it poked away by Jermichael Green, but he still stays with it. Gets a left-handed little scoop shot. You don't see Gerald Green doing much in the post, but you saw it there. Still, Junior and the Prophets are not having a good day. 78 to 60, down by 18 points. Mike Conley Jr., baseline jump shot, dumps it down to Zebo. Zebo puts it in, and Memphis is up 20. It's not working out. Maurice Spates with the dunk, trying to get the profits back in it. He does a little bit. They are still not giving up. Down by nine. CJ Miles with the fast break three cuts it to six. 106 to 100. Junior will not give up. I got to give him credit. But Mike Colley finds Tony Allen, who's playing a little hurt. But you could not tell on that drive and finish. And that, my friends, put an end to this game. Memphis wins 117 to 110. At least he made it respectable. I mean, they got down as much as like 20 points there. And he was able to come back and make it respectable. Play the game, Mike Conley Jr. Look at the field goal percentage. 58% uh, from the field, 19 points, 14 assists. Usually point guards don't seem to kill Jr. the way they, this happened today. I don't know what happened with Mike Conley, but Mike Conley put the put the put the beat down on Jr. Look, joined to the basket, hitting threes. Oh my God, what's happening with the defense here? Mike Conley, Mike Conley, everywhere. Mike Conley, everywhere Mike Conley. I don't know what's going on. So this last game was a simulation game, right? So we simulated it and we did not show the game, but it was the Kansas City Skyscrapers taking on the Philadelphia 76ers and Jody Meeks, yes, Jody, that Jody Meeks went nuts at home, 26 points. This is by far his best game of the season for the Skyscrapers. And look at the dunk by EJ Moon. I had to show you guys that dunk. EJ Moon posterizes Dario Saric. Posterizing. He stepped out of bounds right there, but they didn't call it. But EJ Moon's having continued to having a strong season. And um, I gotta show you again. Look at this. Ugh! Right in Saric's face. Like, oh, look at Eric and Jerk getting up and throwing it down. So the skyscrapers are two and two. Uh, as you can, we're looking at the, uh, the standings here. You see the Grizzlies and the Wizards are leading their division four and zero. The Thunder are four and two, leading the Southwest. You see the skyscrapers there at two and two. In the Northwest, Anchorage Smoke was actually tied for first place. Yes, the Prophets are two and three. They played a lot of games. In the Pacific, we don't have any teams in there, but the Phoenix Suns are four and one. What's going on? The Raptors are four and zero. The uh, Harlem Bruisers are two and one. Yeah. Things got to get better there. The Lightning are 0 1. The Mastodons are 1 2. So, you know, it's still, you know, this is a shortened season. You're only playing 29 games. So, but it's still relatively early. We still got a lot of different things that we can do. Just look at the scoring leaders or the, the statistical leaders and just on the whole. Levi Calloway tied with DeMar DeRozan for the league lead in scoring at 38.7. You see, Teddy Forbes is seventh with 27.3. Not obviously, it's not a lot of games that have been played just yet in this season but my guys are getting buckets we got to scroll a long way down to find like anybody from junior's team now i had to go down reggie mccoy is 28th in the league of scoring he's averaging a very solid 21 in the game so i can't talk about him too much but um yeah my guys are getting buckets maurice spates is 47th with 17.8 but there's John Henson for my team. John Henson averaged 17 points game. What is the meaning of that? Malarkey. Patrick Patterson is scoring pretty well for Junior. Let's look at rebounding. DeAndre Jordan's leading the league, but Levi is Levi Calloway not the MVP right now? I mean, if we had to give out the MVP right now, can, then he's leading the league in scoring. He's second in rebound. Come on. Let's look at assists. EJ Moon, Irk and Jerk is there at sixth. Steals. It didn't look like anybody's there. There blocks though. We had uh, not not a lot of people there. We don't we really have much there for blocks and stuff like that. But we are. I think our players are playing pretty well. For you know, this is an expansion team. Nobody's neither junior or I's expansion team is running away with anything. So we should be competitive throughout the entire season. 
I encourage you to continue to watch. As always, God bless. Subscribe and peace.